Welcome to Sunset Hotline, Eye on Technology, the show where we look at shit. This is the analog NT Noir, NT Mini Noir from Analog. Um, here it is. I have not opened it up yet. Got my trusty Batman knife, which if you've been a member of the channel, you know that this is uh, what we always use to do unboxings. It's been forever. Since I've used this thing. Should do a video on just this. Anyway, here we go. Um, brand new. I just got this in. I want to be a little careful. Oh, I don't even need this knife, dude. This shit's coming right off. Um, I do have the Super Nintendo version of this. And also the Genesis. And I wasn't going to pay the uh, what the eBay prices are for the NT mini um i'll tell you that much so i was pretty excited when they said that they were gonna release another follow-up um production run i should say these guys make really high quality stuff i'm also excited about the duo um but i'll tell you what i normally don't capture with these so that is pretty cool. It's super matte black. Has a really nice feel. I know it's hard to see. It's so black. I mean, I can't even like see it with the naked eye, really. It's it comes it shows up better on camera if I can get the light on it. That's so weird. I can barely read that. It says, God, dude. Oh, it's got an 8-bit do. Fuck, I can't read that. N32.4 gigahertz controller, FPGA, unparalleled compatibility. I mean, dude, that it's so hard to show on there. I can't even, I can't even read it. Anyway, let's open it up. But yeah, I use the uh, whatever the I can't remember what it's called. The Super Nintendo version and the uh, Sega Genesis version. I put those in my living room. Wow, holy crap! And that's what I use um, to play games on, as far as my living room. So I never capture, though, with these things. I just... Holy shit, you guys. It's way nicer than the other ones. I'll tell you that. It's, um, it's like aluminum. Okay, here, I don't even know what you guys want to see first. But look at that. It is, it is like, I mean, it's not plastic, that's for sure. I think they changed something on the back on this run. I can't remember what it was. Um, so it's look like it's got, it says RGB component, S-Video composite right here out of this DB15 plug. That's a little weird. And you got left and right over here. Um... Here's your HDMI. That almost looks like a controller input. It's in Japanese. So I can't really see what that has on there. Um, really nice cartridge slot flaps. Slot flaps, is that what you'd call those? So you got your Famicom and just your regular Nintendo one. Let's see what else is in the box here. I can tell you, though, yeah, that the... Uh, the other ones are not as nice. They're cool, but they're plastic. This is definitely higher quality. And it was more money, too. I think it was 500 bucks. So I definitely splurged on this. Um, so let's see what else we got here. Something from Analog. What is this? Zero lag. Press down to select to access the in-game menu. And we are going to play it here in a second, too. Welcome to Analog. Everything's so tiny it's like seriously man I, I i mean my lights glaring that out but it's like so tiny the the verbiage on there 
All right, 8-Bit Do. I dig this company. This is like my go-to company for aftermarket controllers. I think that they make the most high quality stuff for real. I, I love their stuff. We've got our European plugs. These are, uh, oh, here's the one we're gonna use. So we don't need any of those things. Um, here's our charger, standard charger. It actually looks a little bit beefed up. I was gonna see here, 12 volts. Wow. Uh, how the hell does that go on there? There we go. All right. Snapped into place. And we've got the controller charger for 8-bit do and the HDMI, which I'm actually not going to use this because I have an HDMI ready to go to capture footage. So let's hook it up. I have no idea if it came with the updated um, firmware or not um, I feel like the other two when I got them I had to update them but this one is you know they just made this so it's like brand new anyway I've been using the retro AVS in my living room that's what I've been using and um, for all the channel video stuff I always just use a real Nintendo and it's not the best quality it goes through a frame meister but yeah anyway all right let's uh let's hook it up i'm gonna see what it's looks like hooked up all right so we've got it hooked up there it is um i've got my everdrive hooked up to it let's go ahead and power it on and i want to show you guys the uh, startup screen so check this out definitely kind of cool too my whole process of capturing is a little nutty elgato to frame meister so it cuts off a little bit but there you go kind of cool um i'll show you the cartridge again or the system so i am playing on a actual controller only because uh this one i don't know if it's charging or whatever i didn't really dive into trying to get it to connect but um the only thing i'll say that kind of sucks is the power cord is pretty short um, but with that said everything else looks pretty cool um the front ports actually have leds in them like where the controller ports go so they kind of light up a little bit it's just super high quality and you know that that black like i don't know if it's anodized but it looks just so nice so anyway um let's go ahead and go to the main screen here and check it out so um yeah i mean if you go through settings there's a lot of stuff you can change i don't think i don't think anything's been changed on this system but who knows i don't i don't really know um we have it in 1080p um I actually might screw with these scalers a little bit next time, but for now, I think we're good. And, you know, then you can go into advanced mode and all that, but let's, let's play some games. So, uh, run cartridge. So this is again, the EverDrive N8 and, um, I don't know. It doesn't really matter which one we go into, but let's, let's just see which one I've got. How about, uh, how about double dragon two? But yeah, it's pretty cool to have um, such high quality and simplicity. I, I love hooking these up into my living room because um, the wireless controllers, you know, for the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo one. And then I actually do have EverDrives hooked up. So that's just um, kind of what I tend to do is... Uh, you know, hook them up, play them wirelessly. I seriously love this game, dude. It's been so long. <laughs> I'm trying to do the power knee kick. But yeah, it looks really good. Um, so here, we'll go back. Actually, I actually don't know if there's an easier way to get back to the main menu, but this just reboots it. Let's see what other games we want to launch. 
Um, how about Karate Champ? Why not? Let's get crazy. I remember playing the arcade version of this. At one point when I was a kid, I, I lived in this town that had a uh, had one of these in the actual uh, VHS rental place. It was the only arcade they had, but it was, man, people were always playing it. And I always um, would play it and not know what the hell I was doing because it is a little bit confusing. Yes, point. Oh, oh, oh. These characters kind of look like Simpsons characters. All right, let's go back. Let's do another. Just going to kind of put it through the tests here. Let's go into the S. Let's do Shatterhand. But yeah, the uh, Retro AVS, I think that's what it's called. That's the one that um, I've been using, and I will be selling that because I don't need it, um, which is pretty rad. Um, definitely excited about that. Get a little money back, you know? I don't know what they go for now. I forget how to climb, dude. Oh, oh, oh. That's right. This soundtrack is so good. Alright, I want to try another one here. I got one in mind. Probably be the last one, but it'll be a good one. Not Yo Noid. No. Not today. Yeah. I remember renting this game when it came out. I was so excited to play this game, man. I was hyped. And I eventually got the Game Boy version. And it was like one of the only Game Boy games I ever had. But I, I loved it. And talk about an amazing soundtrack. I mean, you guys know that. But yeah, look at this beautiful system. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I'm so excited to actually have one. And the pre-order window, I don't remember when it was. It was like spring or something. God, I don't even remember when it was. This year. This year has flown by. But they, they were supposed to ship them in August or something, and they didn't. They had issues, which, you know, I don't blame them. Um, but, yeah, I just got a shipping notification, like, a week ago. And I was really excited. This game's so, so fun. The Turbo Tunnel. So creative, though, man. Hey! I really like the arcade game, too. The arcade game is super funny. Well done. Oh, I meant to do my headbutt. It's kind of similar to uh, Golden Axe in that way. It's almost like they took Golden Axe and turned it into an NES game. Yeah. Yeah, this was like one of the... I remember renting this and thinking like that the Nintendo had it going on, man. I was like, wow, they're still making awesome games. 
but of course rare you know all right so that's it guys i'm gonna uh fade out there you go there it is one more time look at the beast pretty stoked so anyway yeah when i do capture stuff i usually just use a real nintendo um i kind of like having the weird look of stuff but god that looks perfect holy crap all right, until next time, you guys know what to do. Sunset Hotline is just getting started. You keep that shit retro by playing Battletoads on the Nintendo Entertainment System later on.